This is the activity on an algebraic identity. The objective of this activity is to verify the algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole square equals a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ca. Let's see the concept in hand first. The algebraic identities are actually expansions. So if we want to derive a plus b plus c whole square algebraically, we just have to multiply a plus b plus c by a plus b plus c itself. So when you start multiplying these, you get nine terms a square plus ab plus ac plus ab plus b square plus bc plus ac plus bc and plus c square. So if you arrange them in order, a square plus b square plus c square, these are the three terms containing squares. And then the like terms ab and ab, they add up to 2ab. Likewise, bc and bc, they add up to 2bc. And ac plus ac, they add up to 2ac. And that gives our identity. But the same result can be inferred experimentally also using an amazing activity. Let's see what are the materials required to perform this activity. We need white drawing sheet, glazed papers of different colors, cutter or scissor for cutting work, the ruler, sketch pens, favicol and gum for pasting work. Let's see how we can derive this algebraic identity using this activity. For deriving the algebraic identity a plus b plus c whole square, you need to take a square sheet of paper and then mark points on its sides like this is like 15 centimeters so you can mark 7 centimeter and then we can mark 5 and rest of it will be 3 centimeters likewise here also you can mark 7 and then 5 and 3 and here also you can mark 7, 5 and 3. The purpose of this marking is to draw lines vertically like this. And horizontally like this to divide it into many parts. So you can see what I have done here is I have, di I have divided this square sheet of paper into how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 parts. You will observe that this part is actually a square. This is also a square and this is also a square. But the other parts are all rectangles. So you will obtain 6 rectangles and 3 squares. You can shade one color here, another color here and the same color here. So the single color squares will be made. You can shade second color here and here because these two rectangles will be same. You can shade third color here and here and fourth color here and here so that you are able to identify which pieces are to be placed where. After having cut the square sheet of paper into nine parts, you will obtain different parts like this and we are going to place them like this. So this is the first part followed by the second square which will be like this because it was diagonal. The third square which it will be like this. The rectangles one of them will be placed like this. The other one like this you can paste them just like I am showing you here another rectangle and then another rectangle and then we have the final rectangle here is the second last and here is the last rectangle so you can place them like this and you will get back that particular sheet of paper so if you consider the side of this square as a then this square has area a square 
if you consider this as a this as b and this as c so along the edges you will have the same sides a b and c so you can actually find the area of each of these parts this has one of the sides as a and the other as b so this area is ab a and c so this area is ac this is symmetrical so this will also be ab this will be b square this will be b times c so you can take the symmetry ac bc and this will be c times c which is c square so you have calculated the areas of all the six plus three nine figures now how do you get the identity you can see the side of this square is actually a plus b plus c and if you want to find the area of the complete square it will be the square of the side that means this one and this entire area is divided into nine parts i'm going to add all the nine areas a square plus ab plus ac plus ab plus b square plus bc plus ac plus bc plus c square so if you arrange them in order a square plus b square plus c square and then you have ab and ab adding up to 2ab bc and bc adding up to 2bc and ac and ac adding up to 2ac hence we derive the identity a plus b plus c whole square that is area of the entire sheet is equal to sum of areas of the nine parts and we obtain a square plus b square plus c square plus 2ab plus 2bc plus 2ac and that completes our activity.